Hi, I'm Mike with Dead Air Armament, and we are going to take a quick look at our product and see what you guys think. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's loud. So this is our newest product. This is the Ghost. It's a 45 can, so nine and 40 and 45 and 10 and all that sort of business. It's kind of unique in the fact that yeah, you can pull the end cap off of it. Yeah. We'll just put it into it configuration so you're gonna take the end cap off it's our same tool as the mask takes what's up guys yeah it's gonna transfer this one baffle over with it I am I am And then you've got your short K configuration, so like that. Kind of two cans in one. Very cool. Take a look at our. We make three rifle cans. They're all Magnum rated. This is the S. We have the L and then a TI, a titanium tube direct thread. So we'll take a quick look at the mound on this. This is a full Stellite welded EDM cord. Super tough can. Yeah, absolutely. And that's all you have to do to take it on and off. So when you, it'll only go on one way. It won't go the other way. Once it drops down, then you just tighten that down. It'll pull the tape for alignment. Turn those lugs in to take it back off. The same thing in reverse. Okay. It also has replaceable end caps. So you can change the aperture on that. If you want to do 6.5 or 22, so we have a 5.56 end cap. Other sizes available there. Just changing the end cap. Just like that. <laughs> Pretty simple business. Boom. You can kind of custom tune it to their smaller caliber stuff. The mount, if you want to clean it, say you get some dirt in there, super easy to take apart, no tools needed. There's All you have to do is pull this stop down and let the two stops pass each other. No roll pins, no pliers. So you've got the locking collar and the spring and the detent plate. The spring goes either way. The detent plate just goes with the stop up and then you tighten the collar back on. So if you, the spring gets soft or the teeth get a little low or whatever on the, you can just fire a new one on. You tighten it, it will not, you can't pull it down to get it to pass again. Mm -hmm. So you know it's on all the way, then you just turn it back to the open position and it's ready to remount. And you pop it on. Just like that, ready to shoot. Nice. Let's go shoot it. Let's go shoot it. Go I like your it. attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Maybe a little handgun? Yeah. A little handgun. I'll shoot the handgun. A little handgun action. Alright, so I go short, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. No, I, he's gonna shoot. 
Like that AK action, huh? Oh yeah. Did one of those for my class. I'm gonna shoot this one. So I'm going long with this. Alright guys, left hand here we're talking lead and uh, you just saw us shooting dead air suppressors. Uh, we did it on a 300 wind mag. Yes sir. Uh, Five, five, six. And nine and 45. Nine and 45. We shoot the nine, we shot the 45. Um, Mike, tell me about how they get in touch with you. Well, look us up on the internet. Type in dead air silencers and take a look at our stuff and see what you think. There you go. And make sure you check out our podcast because Mike's going to be on our podcast uh, coming up on uh, the next couple episodes. We're at 2016 SHOT Show. More coverage coming up. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, buddy. We've got this classic SP1. We just Look at that. we picked it up on the way to the shot show. Did you really? Yeah, Gary succumbed to the charms of cult classic. And that is a classic, man. That's beautiful.